What's going on guys? Welcome to my mother's basement. I mean my basement. Anyway, let's take a look at a dystopian post-apocalyptic story that takes place on a train. And I'm talking about Snowpiercer. Stay tuned. <laughs> So I first heard about this series from the film. I didn't realize it was a comic series. There's also a TV series out that is also pretty good, but this is an interesting take on the post-apocalyptic genre, so let's check it out. Think about supporting the channel guys, make sure to check out that site right there where you can pick up my self-published comics or children's books, get them directly from Amazon starting at only a couple bucks. Here we have the first Snowpiercer graphic novel originally published in France over 30 years ago in 1982. We finally got a English translation of this back in 2014 published by Titan Comics, written and illustrated by Jacques Loeb and Jean-Marc Rochette. It is all in black and white with a nice oversized format. My copy came damaged, which is actually a library copy I was not expecting. Thankfully, I was given a full refund. But anyway, I love this story, I love the movie, and I thought the TV series was pretty good as well. It's a pretty short read, about 110 pages. We have a dark, dystopian, post-apocalyptic story taking place on a train. The world is frozen over and the last humans alive are on this train called Snowpiercer that continues to go around the earth non-stop. It's quite interesting. On this train, there is a class system slash society. We have an extremely poor group of people that are located in the tail end of the train, also called tailies. The third class who are better off than them, the second class who are considered the middle class, and the first class who are the most privileged group of people who live in luxury. There are different train carts for food production, storing livestock, growing fruits and vegetables. You have authority figures, a religious group, and political figures. Pretty much society as you know it, just on a train. We have a main story arc about rebellion from an individual located in the tail end of the train, accompanied by another supporting character that I'll let you find out for yourself. The writing is dark and disturbing, more so than the film. There are some similarities as well as differences between the comic and the film, from characters to the reason for the apocalypse to the actual length of the train itself. I really had a blast reading this. If you're into this genre, definitely give this a try. If anything, check out the film. It won't spoil anything going into that first. And it helped me get a bigger picture of the world that it's about. So that being said, I'm definitely going to check out the rest of the books in this series. There's two more, and then there's two more prequels as well, which I will probably review. If you're into this content, make sure to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss anything, and we will see you next time.